him, dear students, uh, I wish that you are all doing well and I wish that you are uh, all and your families in a good health. Today we are going to talk about the numerical systems, which is worksheet, which is number 10. Uh, if you have your booklet with you, I want you to open the booklet on worksheet number 10 and write the date here. If you don't have your booklet, I'm going to attach uh, uh, attached a copy of the worksheet along with the link to this video. Numerical systems, as we know, or the system of numeration, is the system we use to express numbers. Um, we all deal with mathematics, and as I told you before, we have a machine language and a human language. Human language is our languages. We deal with letters, numbers, symbols, etc. But the machine language is deal with the electricity. If there is electricity, it will be one. If there is no electricity, it will be zero. So we want now to, to know or to deal with the machine language and to understand how the machine translates our language into its language. So I want you to use your markers to mark the numerical system definition, which is is a written system for expression number that is a mathematical rotation for representing numbers or a giving set using digits or other symbols. This is the definition for the numerical system. As I told you before, any definitions at the exam will be fill in the blanks with a word box or multiple choice. So I want you now to take a look here for the type of numerical systems. I have different type of the numerical systems. I want you to know all the types by name. The most important thing here on the table is the, I'm going to highlight it for you, the name, the name, sorry, the name, the base, and the system weight. These are the most important information I want you to know here from this table. The name, the pace, and the system weight. The name is the binary for the first system is the binary. Binary in Arabic means thunai. Binary in Arabic means thunai. That leads us to the pace. The pace for this number will be 2. Al-Asas, Lahadith system, it's nan, min al isam from the name. Binary, 2, thunai, al raqam ithnian. The system weight, the system weight will be 2 power 0. And we will start numbering from the 0 because the 0 in the machine language has its value. The, the zero, it has his value. Zero, one, two, three, and we'll deal with the powers here. And n here represents infinite, infinite uh, or, or countless numbers. We can go through like two power 100 and one. The system sample here, as we know, it's one or zero. There is electricity, there is no electricity. A binary system is the machine system, is the machine system. If I want to have a presentation for the system, it will be like this. I'm going to put brackets, one, one, zero, and we must have the two here. Why? Because to lead us, that is a binary system. I'm not talking about 100 at 10. It's not 100 at 10. It's 1, 1, 0. And we will start reading the number from the left, from the left to the right. So it will be 1, 1, 0. And the two here indicate that we are talking about the binary system. Now I'm going to talk about the decimal system. The decimal system is the system of numbers we are using the pace the decimal means in arabic ashri decimal in arabic means ashri so that lead that the pace will be 10 the pace will be 10 ashri min al-raqam 10 
So the system weight will be 10 power 0, 1, 2, 3, 2 countless numbers. I want you to focus on these two systems, the binary and decimal, because we will talk about them and we, go, we are going to deal with these two system, systems in general. I want you to know also that we have the octadecimal. The octa in Arabic means thumani, so the base will be 8. The hexadecimal system, the weight will be 16. And I want you to know that the base will be 8, power 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. The base here will be 16, 0, 1, 2, and etc. For the samples for the decimal, it will start from 0 to 9. And we're not going through 10 because the 10 is a combination between 1 and 0. 20 is the combination between 2 and 0. 13 is the combination between 1 and 3. Here for the octa and the hexadecimal, uh, octa, sorry, this uh, octa system will be from 0 to 7. We are not going through the 8 because the 0, it takes its place. So 0, 1, 2, 3, if you count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers according to the base. For the hexadecimal, we will start from 0, 1, 2, 3 till 9. You should know that for the machine language, they are not dealing with two digit numbers they start counting with letters so the a indicate for 10 b11 c12 d13 e14 f15 as i told you before i want you to focus on the binary system and the decimal system The most important thing now is the calculating the weight for the system. The weight is the place for each number. The cell weight is using the cell base. It's regarding to the system. The base is regarding to the system. If I'm talking about the binary, so the base will be 2. If I talk about the decimal, so the base will be 10. If I'm talking about the octal, the base will be 8. If I'm talking about the hexadecimal, the base will be 16. The cell order will be starting from 0 to whatever number you have. So again, the cell weight, this is the cell weight. And I'm talking about the cell base. The cell base is 16 here. Why? Because I'm talking about the hexadecimal now. If I talk about the decimal, so the cell base will be 10. If I talk about the binary, the cell base will be 2, and etc. The cell order will be the order for the number. It will be 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So I want you to highlight this equation. I'm not going to ask you about this equation to fill in the blanks or true or false or correct the equation or write the equation. No, I'm, we are going to deal with this formula or equation. Uh, when we start calculating and I'm going to I'm going to go through the calculation process the calculating for the number value will be the value of the number of some multiplication for each number by the weight located to the cell um, it's look a little bit hard I don't want you to memorize this definition we are going to go through the 